so you can call me a Luddite if you want, but I don't really see the problem with having just a plain, standard doorbell. I don't need anything fancy. I don't need a camera. I don't need all of this crazy app stuff. If I want a camera, I'll just go with another company that's more secure that I can isolate to my network. I don't need like the Nest or the Ring or any of those fancy doorbells. <laughs> I just want a doorbell, right? So enter another cheap product straight from China, or at least it looks like it's straight from China. This is the Sato Tech uh, doorbell. There's literally nothing fancy about it. It's, it plugs into the wall. It does doorbell things, right? So we're going to go ahead and take it out of the box so you can see what it looks like. And, it, you know, it honestly looks pretty good. Let's, uh, you can see that the device itself is just literally a wall wart, which I'm not super, like, I'm not a super fan of this because I'm, I'm really against giant wall warts like this but I can see kind of why they would do it. A little annoyed because who has an outlet in their hallway? Oh, let's, let's peel this, yeah. That's nice. So the unit itself is pretty plain though, right? It's just a wall wart. You've got a volume button on the side and then a selector for what chime you want. And that's basically it for the device. There's, there's really very little in the way to go wrong with it. And it plugs into the wall so you're not gonna use batteries all the time for your main unit, which is nice since a lot of the ones that you hang in the hallway are just battery powered. The the doorbell actual buttons themselves, they actually look quite nice too. They're very, very plain though. Um, we've got a, a doorbell <laughs> and these are battery powered, of course. You get a nice blue light. I obviously chose the black ones. You can also get this in white. And they either mount with this fancy little bracket with some screws, or you can stick them anywhere you want with some adhesive foam. They come with adhesive foam. You can also just get some automotive grade adhesive foam. This kit in particular came with two bells, but you can support up to four. You can also get more um, of the units that plug into the wall and you can pair them with each other. So you can have maybe one upstairs, one downstairs, and then a bunch of buttons around your house. I have two doors that we primarily use for people entering and exiting, so we have the two doorbells and the single receiver is fine. I don't live in a mansion, so the range is plenty in a standard house. And you know, it comes with a little thing that says thanks for buying our product, whatever, it doesn't really matter. There's not a whole lot to this, but what I really want to get to is the actual setup. And it's a little bit of a rant that I have, and I know that ultimately they're trying to give more options to more people and give you what you want in terms of sound and things like that. But I don't understand why you need 30 different ringtones. It's a doorbell. It should ring. This one has some, um, some interesting details, like it will play music. And here are some of the, my least favorite ones now in this short little clip. So basically, in order to actually set this doorbell up, it's super, super simple. The button I referred to earlier, which is literally just a little megaphone on the side, you just press it and hold it for five seconds. It makes a sound very similar to the Windows XP sound for a Windows Air. And once it does that, you have five seconds to press the doorbell that you want the chime to be on. And whatever chime you selected going through it is the chime that you get. There are so many, but it's super easy to set up. So if you can find a chime that you don't hate and it's not singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm to you, you're probably doing all right. So that's the cheap doorbell. I'm not really sure if this video was really helpful to anybody, but if it was, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later.